my name is Isha and I'm from News 18 Shosha. Today we have with us one leg of La Stories 2, Sujoy, Tawanda and Vijay. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. I want to start off by asking that, you know, I watched the teaser before coming in and while it is very curious, I'm still unsure what the, your set of the story is. Could you tell us more Even about it? we are it? unsure. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please tell us more about the story? The story is very simple. It, uh, there's two, uh, there's a couple who has been separated for a while and they meet suddenly. And it's the process of finding you know, each other out and how they figure out what has happened in the past few years when they haven't met and why they haven't met. Yeah, boring tha na wo. <laughs> it wasn't actually like that. No, no, no. So basically this man is driving, right? You can do better. Huh? You can do better. Yeah, we can do better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you, you. We are doing good. We are doing good, no? <laughs> Tamanna Me and Tamanna are doing good. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of laughing. I'm sorry. Yeah, Tamanna is going Why to now sorry tell us. Why are you sorry laughing us, now? Yeah. No, we can laugh. It's allowed in the mm. interview. What do I say, sir? Tell me. Tell me about the story. Tell me about the whole story. Tell me about the whole story. I won't say anyone. Well, it's just... Um, it is a thriller format, which is absolutely... Uh, so, Joy, sir, is you know, Forte. And we are very happy to be a part of that world. Forte. There are two... Uh, I was going to say two kids, I don't know. <laughs> what? So, two <laughs> kids. Two, two kids. <laughs> okay. Two kids in the park. Vijay is going somewhere and he suddenly sees somebody he thinks he knows. He's like, oh, I know that person, I know that person. Oh, I have seen this person. Oh! And he thinks, oh, I know this person. And he goes and meets this person. And this is a person he hasn't met for the last 10 years? 10 years. 10 years, and that is two. And we realize that's his wife, and he figures it out, what happened exactly, that his wife was missing for 10 years. I want to go, go on to ask that, you know, their pairing is very unconventional. So, uh, how did you go about bringing both of them together? Did you have them in your mind once the story was in place? Uh, actually, <clears throat> it's very weird, uh, I met Tamanna before I started writing a, a little bit. Vijay was working with in Devotion. So the character that I was creating was quite Vijay-like. Mm -hmm. You know, a creepy fellow. Uh, so it came sort of naturally Vijay. Just say that it's a joke. Huh? Yeah, yeah, to, otherwise they won't get it, it's a joke. It's a joke, it's a joke, it's huh. a joke. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's a joke, he's not a creepy fellow at all. He just looks creepy. He's not. <laughs> and then Tamanna, surprisingly, uh, I met her and, and she was very uh, keen to, you know, do something. And we were both keen to do something together. And then I presented the script to her and she agreed. And that's how it worked out. Yeah. But if you ask me, uh, the characters I wrote surprisingly fit them very well. So it was more the demand of the character and how... Uh, suitable they were for it. If they went, I wouldn't have gone to them. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean it like that. No, no. It makes absolute sense. I also think like I, many a times I feel like projects also kind of come together. There is, I think, the certain thing to it. Like it all kind of, when it has to come at a certain timing, it just does. So it's probably this is one of those. So when both of you all were brought into the same room for the first time for the project, what were your impressions of each other? Because both of you, the kind of work both of you all have done are very different from each other. So what were your first thoughts about each other and then how did it go about on the shoot? Well, I definitely thought that I'm going to get a chance to work with an actor who has been so consistent in delivering performances which are so diverse and so powerful and uh, he's quite a chameleon. He really sh sh changes the, the, the way he even approaches a certain character and I've seen all his work uh, from his past and I was like, if this project will not happen, I will learn something from these two. So that was honestly the reason why I want to do, actually want to do this project. Because for me as an artist, I'm at that point where I feel like there are certain subjects like lust, which are, which was a stigma for me growing up. Like I was that audience that would, you know, get awkward sitting with my family, watching something like that. I would start looking around, I would start fidgeting or I'd be uncomfortable. And for a large part of my career, I didn't do any intimacy in my movies or in anything that I showcased. So um, so for, for me, it was a journey from coming out of 
being an artist who you know who kind of catered to a more massier audience now to doing stuff which growing up for me was a stigma i just don't want that to happen to you know the audience now because mm. they don't need need that anymore and i think uh, it's it's that that illusion is broken for me so i'm enjoying this process of exploring myself as an artist and doing varied kind of characters and work and uh, working with him was just actually kind of a a key to open it actually opened my mind towards what more i can do so um, so yeah that's how it was for me that was my first not my first impression but what i took away hmm. uh, after working on lust with vijay and sujal vijay what about you uh what was my first impression i just felt like uh, i guess i was i read this i read the script so i know what the script uh, was asking f- from me and uh, this this uh, character that uh, tamanna is playing and i was just i felt like he's such a great fit for the part and and the surprising and uh, beautiful part of this was how willing and how ready she was to uh, uh hop on and explore this with story and this character and uh, it became very easy because we you know we were both very excited to do this together we were very excited to do this with sujoy so there was uh, when you are when you are excited about doing something when you are completely in it then the process becomes very fun and uh, uh, i had seen some of her work and she's such an icon in so many ways i had seen bahubali when it came out in theaters i saw uh, her recent release bubbly bu- 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 bouncer Bounce. just before we shot and i just felt like she's got so much to give so much to offer and she's uh, and it's it's an enigma this character when you watch the film like she's she's got something and tamanna has that so it was very nice i want to ask from all three of you all before we started the interview all three of you all had enough inside jokes to crack and you all were cracking up so much how was it on sets and how long it was very serious ab kya bataye ab kya bataye hamare sath kya hua un char dino mein yeah so basically i was very unwell so i cancelled the first day of my shoot so he was basically going through like a turmoil he was like is tamana going to come not come is this going to happen not happen of course uh, vijay just thought i had cold feet everyone had weird ideas of what's going on uh, but yeah but i think um, the the schedule was really short and there was a lot of work that all of us had to put in and uh, yeah i think we were just like vijay said we were all so Uh, involved and we were really enjoying the processes why probably we got through it but it was a very grueling 7 8 yeah. days of yeah. shoot yeah uh my next question is to you again is that uh i i don't want to sound make you sound very old but i have seen most of your movies when i was in college and i started off my career but maybe choti thi maine 15 saal ki umar mein i know i know yeah. that's why i'm telling you you're probably the same age or and you watched my work so. definitely <laughs> and uh, i remember still like you know the i still have memories of going and watching paya in theater i you bang paya yes wow okay yeah i'm th- that's what i'm telling i've okay. seen your work from seen there it from the beginning okay yeah it was a tamil film which did really well a good film it it's a very nice movie very her nice. chemistry with karthi is we still talk about it even now we revisit songs and we still discuss the movie i bang school and i went and watched that movie good job Thank you. Thank you. I also proud. bunked college and made the movie. <laughs> same to same. Yes. So uh, we didn't do anything like that. Yeah. We were diligent students. Yeah, we got. Yeah. We went marks. to school. Yeah. yeah. We got six to eight in Hindi. And all. <laughs> yeah, I got two in Hindi, so I'm not. Two. Two. Uh, Don't. <laughs> okay. I re- I really want to. Want to oh, talk about to this for next fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a separate conversation. Way more interesting than love story. You're the most, uh, <laughs> yeah, interesting person I've met. Yeah, two, uh, two, <laughs> two. Like two you, Hindi. you got, you don't have love stories, but you have the two. Tumko yeah. Oh, Hindi aata hai. बहुत अच्छे से आता है. दो कैसे आ गए तुमको? अरे, I was not prepared for that exam, and I just ended up like. You were watching her films or what? But my question yeah, is on. Yeah. Like I don't want to talk in Hindi. I want to talk in Tamil only. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got better marks in Tamil that year than Hindi. So <laughs> clearly, clearly, cinema is an influence on your life. Yeah. So uh, most part of your career has gone in Tamil and Telugu cinema, and only very recently you've started focusing a lot more on Bollywood uh, projects. Is there a reason why you took such a long time to focus on Bollywood? I don't think 
it's about the language mm -hmm. uh, but for me what happened is i started working down south i am from mumbai yeah um i soon enough after working down south i had a lot of success and a lot of recognition which kind of sw swept me away for very very many years to do a lot of commercial cinema to do some really memorable work some very very amazing female centric work but i i think i came to a point where i started feeling very repetitive mm. i just felt like i was doing the same thing over and over again i felt like the kind of work i wanted to do those kind of parts weren't being written and i think i was evolving faster than what was hap what was happening to me so i came to a point where i was like i just want to do work that i relate to and i would like to watch so i think i have generated an audience that is that watch a certain kind of cinema but now i want to introduce them to something that i also would be like to watch mm. myself so i'm trying to do that kind of work which excites me uh and um and also push my boundaries as an actor because it's for female actors it's it's a little bit of a struggle to still find well written parts uh after a while you're still kind of uh, struggling with um and if you're conventionally successful and you're conventionally good looking then i think it becomes i think there are a lot of typicalities that get set into the, the equation. type casting yeah the type casting is for real so the idea is to break that and uh, and you know hopefully let the audience see that you have more than just what they they've already seen I just want to understand is that Priyanka Chopra very recently opened up about you know being cornered in the industry and you know that's when it forced her to go look at a uh, bigger picture. So have you ever faced that kind of a issue that you know you're trying to break into something and you're always shown the exit door or you feel felt cornered? I think uh, in my case what happened is um I just came to a point where I didn't feel like the parts were written for women. It was more written from uh from the men's point of view which is fine cuz in a certain kind of commercial cinema that serves that purpose mm. but then that cinema i mean i came to a point where i was on set and i didn't associate with any of the lines i was speaking so that was alarming for me as an actor because i love what i do and i do this because it's it really fulfills me and my quest is just to be a part of stories that uh, i want to tell i want to be a part of to tell and uh, characters that will excite me so yeah in the south there is um there is ample if you're successful there's ample uh, love and support uh which is almost like it's it's loyal to another degree like the kind of fans i have i know they if something goes wrong with me they'll go fight on you know the internet for me i know that's the kind of fan following i've i've generated and i've been lucky to have experienced but i feel like i actually owe them even more now because i feel like i need to make content which empowers them in some capacity and a lot of women out there because i think there was for me in my head a lot of stigma around subjects like lust itself mm. and uh, i'm trying to break that for people who are going to be watching uh, the content that i am i'm a part of uh which my next question is to you is that you know uh, we've seen you in a lot of projects but fortunately because of the uh, ott outburst we get to see you you know lead projects so before this ott uh, boon happened were there any projects where you were trying to break into but just because you were not the conventional hero the bollywood hero that everybody believes in did you get like you know were you fighting for projects did it take you a lot to convince your directors that you know i am fit for the role even if it's a leading part i mean there is no room for any of such fights and i don't believe anybody can convince anybody that they are suitable for a part <clears throat> not how it works mm. it works usually when a director believes in you you get the part and the director has to fight with the producer <laughs> and explain why they have why why they want to cast this relatively unknown unfamiliar so called non bankable face but that's director's journey and usually we, i didn't get there i didn't mm -hmm. get to that space i got to a place where i was able to pick up even smaller parts but they had something to do so i, I did that i i wasn't con considered for for the leading parts and there were occasions when directors wanted me for leading parts but uh they told me clearly that nobody else is backing this thought and i've recently met a producer who had um who turned me down for a project mm -hmm. like for four or five years ago when a director went to this producer said ki i'm wanting to get vijay for this part so like who vijay varma so i just met this producer yesterday and she pitched me a story and she wants me to lead her film so i just feel like you know you need to earn your spot in the bargain 
you know, you might you lose some time, maybe few years. But the good thing that can come out of it is that you evolve as a person, and वो अपना मेहनत का कमाया हुआ ना बहुत अच्छा लगता है फिर. And I don't hold grudges. I don't even remember people who said what this that. <coughs> But I I know for a fact that it's not easy to get into movies. It's not easy to, uh, especially do leading parts in movies. It's going to be a reality. It's not like anybody can wake up and become an actor. It's not easy. Uh, so Jai, so Tamanna said in the starting that you know uh, thriller is your genre. But everybody knows that you also did a musical, and it completes twenty years. So congratulations mm-hmm. on that. So I wanted to know Jhankar beats with twenty twenty years behind it. Uh, Have you ever thought about regrouping everybody and doing a Jhankar Beats too? We tried, but we couldn't get a story. Mm-hmm. It was becoming more to uh, exploit the brand than having a good story. Instead, uh, we were trying to do this film called Reunion, right? And then that didn't happen. With the same cast? No, no, no. no. Okay, okay. Different cast. Everybody in my office also. and short that i ask you this question are you coming back with another kahani <laughs> everybody in your office everybody in, yeah we also uh, uh, figured a story in a, in the previous interview <laughs> yes yeah. what is going to be the story of his next kahani also we yeah. please we, we, we worked me and tamanna yeah. so now yeah we, now i have no option but to make kahani three <laughs> <through. laughs> we we cast ourselves in it yeah, yeah. where they think i'm pregnant but actually he's pregnant i'm pregnant Wow! Yeah, it's path breaking. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Ritesh Tejesh Mukh did it. Yeah, two, three. Four. Oh damn! Ritesh is everywhere. Every <laughs> doing. Got you, guy. Oh. Yeah, he played a pregnant man in one of the movies. Now, at least the it was shown in that way. Ritesh. Okay. So there. No, we'll we'll change. We'll change. We'll change. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Yeah. We'll work. Maybe we're twins this time. Yeah. 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 Push the karenge. <laughs> So uh, I w- I also have a very small segment mm-hmm. where it's going to be a ye or a nay, and since it's last stories too, it's going to be a little lusty, lusty questions. Ooh, bring yeah? it on! Post lunch, lust is very important. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> <laughs> so post lunch, when you're just thinking, you need to nap. Yeah, just a little bit of zest. Yeah, bring on lust. the lust. Yeah, bring it on. Turn it up. Yeah. So the first question. Have you sat through a f- boring first date? Ye or ne? Ye. Or a yes or no? Ye. Yeah. Yeah. You want to share a little more? No. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, there was no lust involved. So. <laughs> What about y'all? Yeah. She's contemplating. Yeah, yeah, I have. Have you sat through boring narrations? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm asking better questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, had sex on the first date. Not that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, second date. <laughs> Is it I, second date? I, 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 I come from an average middle class family. I have to fight for everything. <laughs> Nothing comes easy for me. <laughs> Sir, ye or ni me jawab do. Oh, oh, yeah. no, 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 ni, <laughs> ni. I must have hmm. got ghosted. Hmm? Got ghosted. Got ghosted by? No, Not really, no. If someone would have ghosted you, I swear, I would have started a petition online. Someone is unghostable. This ghost is not something we see in India. When we were growing up, there were no ghosted. No, I mean, like, but there was no term to it. No, no, but no. You have letter written. Because you have 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 written. Because But ghosted is like more mobile kind of a era. Uh, I feel. Being, have you ever? Go- I wouldn't remember. Sorry, I wouldn't remember if people are ghosting. Uh, and my WhatsApp status is I don't reply. <laughs> so I'm that guy. So then go there. The next question you answered. I my next question was Have you ghosted anybody? Uh, yeah, according to people, I have. Yeah. Then got caught in the act. I I act all the time. So. Not I mean, act act. Oh. Like in what way? Someone walked in on you in the bedroom. No, no, nay, nay, sir, yours? Nay, nay. Indulged in PDA. In what? PDA. Public display of affection. Yeah. Yeah. But with who? Uh, anyone. Anyone. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. If I see my son, I'll hug him. No, no, with a lover. I with like a lover. Yeah, with a lover, woman of your desire, your. 
wife my pd is with my children okay. my Why last we jaye give him a hug in public yeah yeah he's hugged in public <laughs> i want hug jaydeep in public he'll scold me <laughs> <laughs> my last question is based on the teaser neena ji very nicely says that shaadi se pehle test drive karna chahiye uh. do you all believe in shaadi se pehle test drive i i, I believe in everything neena ji says <laughs> yeah. that's a good that's a good call yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. neena ji knows it all yeah. whatever neena ji says we do it yeah, i'm still trying to find no i can't say this uh yeah 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 absolutely neena ji is right <laughs> 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 but you know what she says in today's day and age makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> True. It's incredibly bang on. I agree. Thank you so much Thank guys. You. Thank you so much for talking to me.